Welcome! In this new module uh, on thermogrammetric analysis, we are going to discuss the knowledge that you have to know before analyzing your results. This is the contents outline. First of all, we will see what are these TG and DTG curves. Then we will describe which is the TG curve, which is the direct response of, of our thermogrammetric analysis. Then we will see which are the different characterization parameters of our thermogrammetric experiments. And finally, I will show you some real TG curves as an example. Regarding the previous knowledge that you have to obtain, you have to know some fundamentals of thermogrammetry and then you have to know how to design good thermogrammetric experiments. Let's start then with the TT and DTT curves. This is the output of our thermogrammetric analysis in which we obtain a plot uh, that represents the mass versus the temperature. The sigmoidal shaped curve that we can see is the TG thermogrammetric curve and the other one which has a bell shape is the first order derivative curve, in which we analyze which is the decomposition rate. Let's start playing with these TG curves. The first uh, tip, the first advice that I can give you is that if you have different samples with different masses, don't try to relate them because they are not, you, you cannot distinguish between both samples, but if you scale them, you will, uh, you will be able to characterize and to relate and to find the different differences between both samples. So once our plots are scaled, let's see how to interpret the results that we see. So in the increasing temperature axis, we can see as in the lower or moderate temperature range, so below 150 degrees, uh, we will be able to see the loss of components like water, low molecular weight solvents, or gas desorption, for example. If we increase this temperature between 150 and 250 Celsius degrees, we will be able to see the loss of low molecular weight compounds such as different additives, crystallization water, plastifiers, or first the composition products of our polymer. When we go to the change of a slope in temperatures between 250 and 500 Celsius degrees, we will be able to see the onset of the thermal, if we are analyzing in inert uh, gas, or the thermooxidative, if we allow certain content of oxygen, the composition. If we increase the temperature above 500 degrees, we will find some processes such as carbonization of hydrocarbonated compounds, which pyrolysis has no volatile, volatile formation related. At the end, we will see the, the presence or not of some different metallic oxides or inorganic salts, ashes. How can we characterize these curves? Uh, if we have a look at this tissue curve, we can see how we will see two different parameters such as the mass loss and the residue that we can have in our material if it has some inorganic compounds in it. The most important are the temperatures. In this slide, you can see the onset and onset temperatures that have been obtained as a, by means of a tangential intercept method. The most important parameter is the decomposition peak temperature, which is the temperature in the middle of the slope that is related to the minimum of the derivative thermogrammetric curve, in which the decomposition rate is maximum. 
And finally, I'm going to show you some different real DC curves. The most simple, the simplest that you can see is this one, in which a unique decomposition process is shown. But it's very common to uh, obtain different DC curves in which two or more decomposition processes can be found. So, keep in mind what we have seen along this presentation. First of all, we've seen how, which is the information recorded after a TGA experiment, which are the TG and DTG curves. Then, we uh, have given you an advice. You have to normalize the curves by the mass of the sample in order to compare different results for different samples or materials. Then, the main characterization parameters are the mass loss, the onset, onset, and peak temperatures. And finally, don't forget that it is possible to study different materials with more than one single decomposition process. Now, it's your time to apply all this knowledge in your analysis.